working with uh, with England full time. And can you just expand a little bit on what your role is exactly? Eddie described it as, as a roving skills coach. Yeah, no, that, that's basically um, it, in, it in a nutshell. So it's uh, you know spending quite a bit of time with our with our tag coach uh, Simon. So it's um, and but then also adding in where I can um, defensively as well um, with a little bit of the transfer of league and and union, but. Um, yeah, just working on, uh, you know, our, our basic skill and then also um, a few other areas in and around our attack and assisting Simon there. How did it come about for you to do the job full time? Because we know you worked with England, was it 2016? Yeah, I've been over this four or five times. So, um, and I'd, you know, spent one to two weeks stints each time, uh, basically helping out with the defence when I did come over then. Um, and then it basically has come about through a conversation with Eddie and which started small. And then uh, before we knew it, um, we uh, were talking about coming over here. So that's basically as, as simple as it was and um, started out with a conversation with him. And then uh, before I knew it, I was uh, decided to come over. So, um, you know, after the after the 2020 season in NRL. What was the appeal of, of this job? Because I imagine you you had a few offers to stay with Lee being over there. Yeah, no, I was, uh, you know, I was really happy at the Storm uh, working there as well. And uh, I, I'd probably come a little bit left field. Um, I, I did it for a couple of reasons. Um, you know, one of them was obviously um, the opportunity to work under Eddie and, and another uh, way of doing things in regards to coaching and how uh, his style is um, and then from what I'd learned at the Storm under Craig Bellamy and then you know the other thing was uh, you know to work with England as well uh, I'd been in the camp a couple of times and um, you know really had a uh, I sort of connected with a few of the players in particular Owen and George and those guys and uh, you know seen it as a really good opportunity for myself to develop as a coach but then also work with those guys um, you know to <clears throat> you know you know, help them progress in their careers as well. So it was, um, you know, that that was the appeal. Um, and, you know, they're world-class players and, and, you know, coaching is coaching, whether it's league or, or union, but, um, you know, getting to work with players uh, at the top of their game, you know, you learn a lot there as well. So um, I thought that, um, you know, I had a little bit to offer those guys and then also, you know, I could learn a lot off them as well. Sure. Since you first came in in 2016, how different is this squad? How much has it developed during that time? Yeah, it's obviously evolved. Um, you know, when I came in, Dylan Hartley was a captain and now Owen is. And, uh, you know, a lot of the young guys, are, you know, Ellis Genji and those guys, uh, I'm not sure if he was here in 16, but he might have been here the second time I come over. You know, guys like that have certainly developed into, you know, um, you know, finishing players or, or you know, they, they get their opportunities at times to start as well. So uh, watching the, the progress and the evolution of those guys, um, you know, has been you know, exciting as well. And, um, you know, it's obviously changed a little bit in personnel, but uh, I think the focus and, and the drive of to always, you know, looking to get better and improve um, certainly hasn't changed. So there's a bit of discussion <coughs> going on at the moment in rugby union about how the, the game goes through cycles, defence and, and attack. And the focus at the moment is, is maybe on defence. Is, is that a trend that you see in league as well? Yeah, it's uh, so basically at the start of the year, a lot of the rules changed in league to to with the aim to speed it up, um, you know, and, and there was certain rules put in place to do that. And I think it did have a, a, you know, a real positive effect at the start. And it probably has now that if we went back and watched games from previous years, you'd probably notice a bit quicker. But um, it did get bogged down there a lot in, in the defensive side of it. And I just think... Um, you know, regardless of what game it is, uh, league or union, I think it's going to go through those trends and those cycles. And, and you know, at the moment, I think uh, you know, I think all the talk is that, you know, it's very contested at the moment and uh, it's a bit more defensive focus. But, um, you know, it's just a challenge for us coaches and players to to maximise our, our attack and get as much as we can out of it there in and around, uh, you know, the way the game's being played and, and being ruled upon. So what, what's the key to achieving that? To, obviously, to, to sparking speed, it. speed of ball is obviously key. Um, you know, you want to get the as quick a ball as you possibly can, and then um, if you can't get that, then uh, you know you basically you basically uh, looking to give it back to them and try and get your field position that way. So you just got to come up with different ways. You know, it's a great challenge both for coaches and also the players to to adapt to the way the game's being played and being ruled upon at the moment. Thanks, Jason. Cheers.